Moroccans in Doha are set to raise their voices and send prayers on the Prophet Muhammad at their semi-final match against France. FIFA President Gianni Infantino took on a new role on Monday. Meanwhile, Qatar Airways has teamed up with SpaceX to send two World Cup balls into space. And finally, we take a look ahead at tonight's crunch semi-final tie between Argentina and Croatia. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Moroccan fans heading to El Bait Stadium on Wednesday night for the semi-final match against France have been urged to show their love for Islam's Prophet. By loudly sending prayers upon the Prophet Muhammad, activists hope to make a display of unity and strength as French President Emmanuel Macron is confirmed to be in attendance. The French leader has presided over controversial laws that rights groups say unfairly target Muslims, while he has also defended caricatures of the Prophet. FIFA President Gianni Infantino took a day off from his presidential duties and headed to the pitch as a one-day referee. The head Honcho of football's governing body refereed a friendly match between footballing legends and migrant workers on Monday. Fans, workers and volunteers who have helped shape the foundation of the tournament were invited to play with the legends, with names such as John Terry, Cafu and Clarence Seedorf among many other names on the pit. Infantino handed out two yellow cards on his refereeing debut. Now, Qatar Airways has partnered up with SpaceX, with the Gulf State's flagship airlines giving SpaceX two World Cup match balls that were blasted into space. The footballs went 123 kilometers above the Earth while packed inside a Falcon 9 rocket, then made their way back to Earth on a SpaceX drone ship. The footballs were later returned to Hamad International Airport, with Qatar Airways stating that the footballs had a legendary journey for a legendary tournament. And finally, the FIFA World Cup is back in action tonight with semi-final action. It's a battle between beaten finalists of the 2014 World Cup Argentina and beaten finalists of the 2018 World Cup Croatia. Both teams reached the final four after tense penalty shootout victories, with Argentina beating the Netherlands and Croatia upsetting tournament favorites Brazil. No matter what happens though, the match does confirm that one of the two beaten finalists will have a chance at heading to the FIFA World Cup final once again. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.